Hey, what's up? I'm Nizio Cole, and today I have a slightly different Watch Dogs video. If you read the title and thumbnail, then you probably have an idea of what this video is about. But today I actually came up with a concept idea for Watch Dogs 4. I've never done anything like this before, but I'd like to do more of this in the future with other games. And yeah, let's get into it. So my concept is called Autumn Falls, and it takes place from May to November of 2009. This is uh, almost a completely different type of Watch Dogs game. It leans more heavily into the story, but it's still an open world, and it still has a bunch of missions and gadgets and hacking is involved. The reason why it takes place in 2009 is because I, I want to kind of distance it a little bit from CTOS, to kind of take a break from CTOS and Bloom and Titus and all these different companies, and have a more focused personal game. This game game will revolve around four different people, which is kind of like the play as anyone system because you can play as those four different people in different parts of the game, but it's not just like everyone. So there's still a story and you get to know each one of them personally, but you can also play as any one of them and each of them have their own abilities and gadgets and things of that nature. So the first character is Michael or Mike Taylor. He's a rich dad's kid who isn't totally annoying and pretty much acts as resources for the group and he's 19. Next we have Samantha Hensworth, who is the electronics engineer and she is 18. Next we have Tyler Smith, who's like an expert in radio frequency and is also a person who's really good at hacking over networks. And the last main character is Katie. And Katie is actually the sister of Josh from Watch Dogs 2. So I think this could be, cause I don't think, I don't think they ever mentioned really any of Josh's family. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember any mention of that so that's why I picked Josh maybe there could be like a cameo of him in the game like a younger version of him I also thought of a few side characters like an unnamed AV teacher at the school they go to so those are the premises of the story I actually did create like a synopsis for five different acts I I kind of have like a vague description of them but I also have some like really specific moments so the first act starts off in June of 2009. Sam, Tyler, and Katie are still in high school while Mike is graduated. Tyler is about to fail three classes in his senior year, and most of the group is very into tech already. They're not the most professional, they don't know everything, they can't like hack some agency, but they have some skills. So they come up with a plan to sneak into the school and change his grades so that he can graduate. Before they can do this, they have to do multiple reconnaissance missions to like clone RFID chips and get a layout of the school and figure out where the server room is. Katie breaks into the school after dark with Tyler and Sam on comms, but she discovers that the registry isn't stored at the school and they need to head to the corporate HQ of like, there's like a really big company that owns a bunch of schools around the United States. And that main company that owns all the schools is owned by this evil guy who is the main antagonist for the story, but we'll get to that later. The act ends with the alarms being tripped by Katie and her getting chased by the police, barely escaping and showing up at Mike's house with a broken arm after jumping off of a building into a trash can. Starting with Act 2, while Katie is still recovering from her injuries, in Act 2, Tyler and Mike act as boots on the ground. This is when they establish one of the rooms in Mike's house, which is a really big house because he's rich, he just graduated high school, and his parents are rich and they bought him a, a giant mansion. So they establish one of these rooms in his house as their group HQ and this is one of those things where I want to have a customizable headquarters, kind of like, I want to have the same energy as the hackerspace from Watch Dogs 2. I want to have everyone have their own area, kind of like in Watch Dogs 2, but you'd be able to customize it and add your own flair to it. They start researching the parent company of all the schools and they come to realize from footage from Kate's body cam that she wasn't being chased by cops but instead a private military owned by the evil guy that also owns the school district. And he also owns like a bunch of other companies as well. He's like really really rich. He owns everything and they start to put the dots together. This will probably be a less active chapter but there will still be a decent amount of missions and this will give the cast time to go around and start side missions around the, the town that they're in. Act 3 cold opens with a mission with all of them except for Katie who's on comms and they're breaking into a storage facility owned by the evil guy to try and find some incriminating evidence. Security notices and starts chasing them just as Tyler is almost done transferring the files and it finishes on time. Mike gets taken down but Sam saves him with one of her gadgets and they make it away in their car. I'm thinking this act should have lots of character development and a bunch of interesting missions which leads to them figuring out that his company bought a ride on an upcoming space 
space shuttle mission, which all leads into his big bad evil plan. So at the end of the act, they have an idea of what he's planning, but they don't know the full scope of it. Also, I think there'd be a cool character arc with Katie struggling with not being on the field and having to stay in HQ while she's still recovering. Starting in Act 4, Katie is fully recovered and on the field. The space shuttle mission in question is disguised as a Tedris or tracking and data relay satellite mission, but it's actually this guy's satellite, but he didn't want it to get out in the public. But our team knows about it. So all of the team members head down to Cape Canaveral. Mike and Tyler stay in the van on comms while Katie and Tyler have to sneak into the VAB or the vehicle assembly building to stick a little controllable probe onto the satellite so that they can disable it once it's in orbit and hopefully figure out some more of the evil guy's plans. And this mission will take up probably 90% of the act, but the last 10% of the act, they're chilling in their hometown in the headquarters, watching the launch, celebrating, and getting ready to control the probe to disable the satellite. They begin to start controlling the probe. Everyone's happy. Kate notices something's up with Mike, asks him if something's wrong. All he says is, I'm sorry, and as soon as that happened, the evil guy's private military busts in the doors and arrests everyone, and it's revealed that Mike's actual father is the evil guy. And then starting in Act 5, Kate, Sam, and Tyler are in this weird prison, and the guard walks by. Kate goes up to the door, bangs on it, asking for a lawyer, and then he ignores her. They have to figure out a way to escape without technology. There will probably be a few puzzles in this section. And then when they do escape, they discover a giant villain lair inside of a volcano with a bunch of guards patrolling. The guards notice they have to try and fight back. Sam gets captured, leaving Tyler and Kate on their own to rescue Sam and find where all their gadgets are being held. I think it'd be cool to have a mission where they have to like crawl through air ducts and, and not be spotted. And I haven't figured everything out yet, but they defeat the evil guy because Mike ends up having a change of heart last second and they stop his evil plan, whatever it was. I think it'd be cool to have a bunch of like really cool gadgets because remember this is in 2009 so there's no there's not really any like virtual assistants this is pretty much the opposite of legion like pre watchdogs one so there's less technology so they have to become more creative with the gadgets that they have i'm pretty sure arduino and uh, things like raspberry pi still existed so if you got one of those you learn how to program you could make some like cool stun weapons or like paintball stuff like kind of the stuff that i expected that would be in watchdogs legion but there wasn't as much of it as i thought and I want to see some things that really feel like handmade, like someone made this, this isn't some like commercial device. But yeah, let me know what you all think about this concept. Do you have any ideas? How could this be better? What do you want in Watch Ducks for? Let me know. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.